on Cuba. But this guy has no backbone. And it started, it started in 2015 when he was first elected. He said he was going to go to the funeral of Fidel Castro and then said, oh, maybe not. Because he was being pressured by the U.S. State Department. So, one more thing about this. Free trade. When we got free trade, it wasn't about trade. It was about everything. It was about Canadian foreign policy. It was about domestic policy. It was about jobs and wages. And now we are seeing that Canada is no longer able to differentiate itself from the U.S. on anything, including apparently on Cuba. So we have to raise this in the coming election, and we have to remember that when we are, when we are here in solidarity with Cuba, that we have to put pressure on our own government as well. They have to stand up and speak out against this genocidal policy on Cuba. So, a people united will never be defeated. Canada has become a lackey for U.S. imperialism.
nationalism. Because Canada does not have an independent foreign policy when it comes to Cuba, when it comes to Bolivia, when it comes to Syria, when it comes to almost any country in the world. Canada, even though it voted along with 183 countries in the UN to end the blockade, continues to support the instigators in Cuba. And Canada has stood with the US foreign policy. And we say no to that. We say hands off Cuba. Hands off Cuba. Hands off Cuba. Palestinian people understand what it means to be under blockade. We understand that blockades are violent acts of imperial aggression and intended to destroy a people's will to fight for national liberation and self-determination. Gaza has been under Israeli blockade since 2007, under blockade for 13 years. Cuba has been under a blockade for 60 years. A blockade designed to punish the Cuban people for ousting the American-backed dictatorship of Batista. Designed to punish the Cuban people for defying imperialism and paving a revolutionary path centered on self-determination and freedom from colonialism and imperialism. The official documented purpose of the U.S. blockade on Cuba, as noted in an American motion titled The Decline and Fall of Castro, is to, quote, decrease wages, bring about hunger, desperation, and overthrow of the government, end quote. The blockade was drafted and designed to starve the Cuban people and bring about imperialist regime change. For the last 30 year, 60 years, the U.S. empire has funded attacks on Cuban soil and exercised all its strength to crush the people's revolution. It has failed before and it will fail now. The will of the Cuban revolution will prevail. We call for the immediate end of the blockade and for imperialist hands off Cuba. And while the United States and Canada continue to throw their support behind the settler colony and apartheid state of Israel, the Cuban revolution has never wavered in its support of the Palestinian people. The Cuban revolution has been outwardly anti-Zionist, calling Zionism a form of racism. The Cuban revolution has refused to participate in diplomatic relations with the Zionist entity, slamming the Israeli massacre on Gaza in 2014 as repugnant fascism against the Palestinian people. Just as leaders of the Cuban revolution have said, the Palestinian cause is also ours, we at the Palestinian youth movement say, the Cuban cause is also our cause. Patria o muerte, venceremos.